Breaking news off the top at 7. A construction worker is dead after part of a crane dropped onto a bridge in downtown Fort Lauderdale. Two drivers are in the hospital after getting caught up in the accident. One car was partly crushed. Now we have live team coverage tonight beginning with CBS News Miami's Joan Murray. Joan, authorities provided an update just over an hour ago. What did they tell you? Exactly what you have reported, that the construction worker is dead. Two of the people who are in cars on that bridge, they are in the hospital, but thankfully they are in stable condition. So I'm going to have my photographer, Doug Johnson, zoom in right now so you can get a better idea. This all happened about 4.30 this afternoon. Uh, busy time here. The Southeast 3rd Avenue Bridge where this happened, this is one of the major arteries into that south section of Fort Lauderdale. Uh, when you get over the bridge, you are at the Broward County Courthouse. I'm sure many folks have been in there and that also leads to the 17th Street Causeway beyond that. So it was about 4.30 this afternoon and what we understand from officials here that there was a platform attached to that crane and apparently something happened with that platform that caused a part of the crane to collapse onto the bridge hitting three cars. Now, two, of, as we said, two of the people in those cars were taken to the hospital in stable condition. One person refused treatment. But as you can imagine, this was an all hands on deck for the city of Fort Lauderdale. Emergency crews responded immediately as well as the police department. Uh, take a listen now to what the Fort Lauderdale fire chief had to say about the response. Our crews immediately went to work stabilizing the area, stabilizing the rest of the building and evacuating the area to make sure the scene was safe. Uh, we then went floor by floor of the building to make sure all of the workers on the building were safe. Any accident like this is tragic. Any loss of life is tragic. Um, it was mentioned earlier, we are lucky. It is a very busy time on Las Olas. We are lucky that there were not more injuries or fatalities. And again, another look out here, and we are told that it, this accident left a hole in the bridge, so they're going to have to address it. OSHA is on the way. Uh, also, officials from the Florida Department of Transportation, this investigation is just beginning, and Southeast 3rd Avenue Bridge will remain closed until further notice. Reporting in downtown Fort Lauderdale, Joan Murray, CBS News, Miami.